Hello everyone, welcome back to this channel. My name is Elsie, a native of Zimbabwe, sharing to you the cultural differences as a native of Zimbabwe who have lived in the United States for so many, many years. Today I'm going to share with you some of the cultures that are just a symbol disappearing and that makes me look back and really feel kind of sad about it because I think this was all as I was growing up in the country and you see a guest coming and you see this cultural or, or ceremony being performed every single time. It was such a beautiful thing. And this is a culture about receiving a guest in your home. When a guest comes, most of the African people, we didn't know the guest is coming. And like here, you know, now also people, they are calling and, you know, they are letting you know they are coming. Usually was a, this big surprise. And as much as it was a surprise, a guest was always received with this big welcome. You know, there was no like, I didn't know you were coming. It was like, wow, you have come, you know. So it was exciting to see a guest coming to your home. And they just, you know, traveled so many a long distance when I was a little girl I used to go to my aunt and we used to walk maybe five days we are walking to get to my auntie's place so it was a, a big deal you know because there was no trans any other transportation but uh, our feet that was the only thing that we could use so it was a huge thing whenever we arrive and then my aunt see us and you know it was this big welcome and this is what they used to do they used to have a chicken and that chicken also was a big deal when they had to bring it over to you as a meal. You know, it was maybe you arrive in the evening, they'll wait until the next morning, but chickens, they come out of their coop, they start running around the whole place, and they'll ask the children to run after one chicken. And you see them running after this chicken, and they're running after this chicken, when they catch it, they bring it to whoever is responsible for the meal or whoever is the old person there, whoever is responsible for the home in a sense, usually women. And then you are taken in a hut and everybody will sit in a circle. Everybody who is there, maybe the people who live there and the guests who have come, everybody sit in this circle, you know. And the chicken was brought live, holding by its legs. You know, and making sure that the wings then are going to go pop, 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 like that. And, uh, you know, it's brought to uh, the person responsible. And then they will start talking to you. Uh, we wanted to bring you the meat that you're going to have or the relish or the uh, whatever they would call it for going along with your meal. This is your meal. In a sense, that was the like the word. This is your meal that we have prepared for you. And they will pass that chicken from one person to the next. And that person have to hold it and say they thank you. And they pass it to the next person. And this person say thank you. And they pass it to the next person. And this person say thank you. And they pass it to the next person. Until everybody in that heart, they touch it and they say their blessings. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Until it reaches to the right person again who is going to take this chicken and they're going to prepare it and everybody will enjoy the chicken for dinner or for lunch mostly for dinner i think they'll enjoy this chicken uh sadly i'm so sad to say this even though i'm like it was such a beautiful when i look back because i cannot explain this so well to my children and that's why i think i'm so passionate about bringing these videos is try to collect some of the things that are going away and try to bring them back and try to see what can we preserve, you know, at least as history to say it's there, it used to be there, you know. Um, so, you know, the, the chicken then will be prepared and then everybody will enjoy the meal. During that time too of enjoying the meal, a person, the older person would always take the meat face because people would eat in the same dish. I'm sure you can see this, you know, in many other cultures. Still today, many people, they're still eating. You know, I look like sometimes in Yemen, in India, in some places they still have this one dish they all dip in, and everybody in, in, in Korea, I think, they also have this one dish they dip in something together, you know, like that. 
and go to dip in everybody and you wait for the other person to take a meat and then that other person will take a meat for each person and give you know into their hands you know and then you will have our meal with the sadza which is our staple food in Zimbabwe and we will have it with the sadza this culture unfortunate I'm so like you know when I visited home this last time, I would say the two times, the last two times I visited home, this culture pretty much is gone. I visited families, they just take the chicken, just like, you know, it's coming from the refrigerator and they just bring it. And it's kind of like, I grew up with this, right? So it's kind of like, oh my God, where is that, you know, nice, you know, warmthy and, you know, receiving of the chicken, you know. Even though sometimes we were growing up, we were thinking, ah, this is too much, you know, why do we need to do all these things? But then again, you know, when you don't have that culture around you, you tend to miss it. And that's exactly what's going on with me right now. I tend to miss that. And that's one culture I'm telling you. But when you go to many homes right now, you might not find this anymore because it's pretty much disappearing. People, they are just, you know, going, they get the chicken, maybe they buy it somewhere or they catch it in their own chicken coop or whatever it is. But they just start preparing it and they give you the food. And it's just the same way casual before was a ceremony when you are a guest, was a ceremony of catching this chicken until it gets prepared, was a ceremony. Even having it on the, you know, floor and you sit all down in a circle and have this meal was kind of like almost like a spiritual thing that was going on there. And it was, um, I would say, very warm and very soothing, you know, very uh, welcoming, you know. It doesn't mean that you're not being welcomed because this culture is gone, but it's just like it was different. And this is all I have today. Thank you so much for watching these videos. And please don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification button, and also share the videos. It's so important that you share the videos because so many people out there will benefit out of these videos. If nothing, they'll be educated. If they're not going to be anywhere, they can just be educated. They know that there's a culture like this. And I think it's very, very important. Thank you so much. We'll see you next week. Bye-bye now.